What is up, VC? Karen here for vinyl video number 20 something. I just made my third installment uh, earlier in the week of the jazz albums that I have on CD that I'd like to have on vinyl. So if you didn't see that, if you didn't watch that, check that out. If you're into jazz or if you're looking to get into jazz. So I got a bunch of stuff to show. It's a mix of recent spins and recent finds, recent digs. Well, not so much digs, I ordered some stuff, which I don't usually do, but I got so into that, this, uh, the Supreme Jubilees, which is, uh, I made a little video on talking about it, how much I loved it, and I was just listening to it digitally or on YouTube even, and I just fell in love with it. And it was recently reissued. It was originally, it's on a compilation as well as the whole album recently reissued and a few days later after I made that video or then last weekend when I went to the store, I had asked them to order it, they didn't know if they could but they never called me and when I was in the store the next week I found it there in the new arrivals so clearly they had ordered it but didn't reserve it for me but I was happy to find it so I got the Supreme Jubilees, it'll all be over and as I said in that video I can't even describe how much I love this. This, I haven't enjoyed new music this much in a long time. Well, new, new music that's new to me. I absolutely love it. And this reissue is really, really well done. Really nice, thick cardstock. This is done by Light in the Attic. Um, so it's a gatefold. Um, you have, with all the lyrics, and just that one picture. So, if you have any interest in gospel soul and you don't know this or you don't have it, highly recommend it. If you like soulful music, even if you're not into the religious aspect of it, this is definitely a must. The Supreme Jubilees, it'll all be over. Yesterday I had an amazing, amazing day. A couple of buddies of mine uh, came to the record store with me that are just kind of getting into vinyl. One that was into it a bit a few years ago when I started getting into it and then is getting back into it and another friend of mine that just got a table. So it was fun to go record shopping with someone, something I don't get to do very often with someone and um, show them around a bit, help them find some stuff that they're gonna like. And I had, because I was so into that gospel, funk gospel sold and the Supreme Jubilees I, when I discovered it is because it was on this compilation by Numero Group and I didn't own any Numero Group stuff but I did a little research reading and I have some of their digital copies of their Eccentric Soul series but they have this Good God series and they have three, maybe four I was reading, but three official Good God entries and Supreme Jubilees is on the most recent one and I was able to find digitally, I downloaded the, uh, the first one and I went to the store and I asked them if they could order some and I got a call last week at the end of this week actually saying your records are in. So when I went to the store with my buddies they had them for me and that's what we're listening to right now. So I, I literally just got home, uh, this was yesterday but I I didn't sleep at home last night, I was at my state of my parents actually. And this is the 30th installment in Numero Group catalog. And this is Good God, Born Again Funk. And what I've heard of this so far is unbelievable. I had done some samples. If you go on their website, I'll put the links to the albums. You can hear little like 30 second snippets of each song. So once again, beautiful, beautiful, heavy cardstock and some nice pictures and a little bit of reading. I was expecting maybe a booklet or something, but that's okay. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect. My first numero group thought maybe there might be more information, but once again, if you like Gospel Soul, I don't usually buy compilations, but I'm not going to find the uh, all these albums, and I'm not going to find the originals, so I'm okay with getting these compilations. So that's Numero Group number 30, and the artists on here are not listed on here. They're only on the on the uh, labels, so I can't read you that. I know there's Pastor T.L. Barrett. Um, you have and Andrew Wartz and the Gospel, uh, whatever they're called, the Gospel Storytellers, um, Sacred Force, Somebody Watching You, uh, Inspirational Gospel Singers, Holy Disciples of Chicago, so all people I don't know. You guys probably, uh, some of you must know these guys, Chris, uh, 
Basket or Andrew Champs Down, you for sure know these. Uh, Sensational, Five Singing Sons, Little Chris and the Righteous Singers, Chicago Travelers. So, very happy to get this. And if you have any interest in that kind of gospel, that's interesting. Gospel soul music, gospel funk, I definitely recommend you pick these up. Interesting. Oh, oh. Okay, look what I'm discovering here. There is a little booklet. But it's like glued. Anyway, I'm not going to rip this right now. But there is a little... There's more than I thought in here. It seems to open up. But it's attached here. And it's attached at the bottom. So... I think it's just glued a bit there. I'll look at that later. So yeah, there is some more more to that. And then they also got me the third good God, which is apocryphal acrop, apocryphal hymns. I don't even know how to say that word. Sorry. But this is number 40, and I haven't even cracked this one yet. But that's what that looks like. So it is what time? Six right now here in Montreal and it's still light out. We changed the time, sprung forward, sprung the clocks forward last night, which is incredible. It's nice to have some more light. So if you like this kind of stuff, get those compilations. I'm in love with this music right now. I can't get enough of it. I just listen to some songs over and over again and I don't get sick of them at all. So another discovery, which I discovered last week, is this Cecil McBee album. I found two of them, and I had both of them in my hand, and I was said, I'm going to be good, and I'm just going to get one. And I came home, and I listened to it, and I loved it. So when I went, and it's from a live, live uh, it's an album, two albums they made from the same live set. So when I went back this weekend, a week later, I picked up the other one. It was still there. I wasn't worried that it was going to be gone. But uh, so it's Cecil, Cecil McBee, music from the source. And this is beautiful, beautiful music. This is from the late 70s. And it's on Inner City. I think it might have originally been issued on Enya. I'm not sure. It says licensed by Enya. So I guess they're the original. Might have been Enya. But anyway, this is from 79. And you have, I don't know the artist other than Chico Freeman. But you have Chico Freeman, some beautiful playing, uh, Joe Gardner, Dennis Mormon, Mormon, and Steve McCall, and Don Moy, Moy. So, music from the source, Cecil McBee, this was cheap, it was 10 bucks, very, very highly recommended. I know, uh, Andrew, you like Cecil McBee, which is kind of, I know you've mentioned him a few times, and that kind of, when I saw it, caught me. And then the second one, which I haven't listened to since I got it, which was just yesterday afternoon, but it's part of the same live set. Where was it recorded? Uh, Sweet Basil, Sweet Basil's in New York City. So I think it was like 78, 77, August 77. And then also recorded this. It's the same one, just from the same, same evening. Compassion. So also on Inner City and probably licensed by Anya as well. Same, uh, oh, this was August 3rd, so next day. And it's the same lineup. Uh, yeah, same lineup on here. So both highly recommended. I had sampled this one at the store, but I think this is the first one. This is the second one. So if any of you guys know this, I'd love to hear what you think. I recommend them. Great Just late seventies jazz music. So this is one that I picked up uh, last week, and the reason it kind of grabbed my attention it was this. It's uh, from What Music. And this is, I had picked up the Open Sky Unit LP a few weeks back on this same uh, label, the same reissue label. And this one is Matt Oiling, that's how you say it, Happy Jazz Band. So it's reissued by the same people. And this is another, this is a record that's super rare, super expensive. I looked on Discogs, it was like five, you know, two, three, four, five hundred bucks. Something I'm never going to find the original. So that doesn't mean it's necessarily good, but with what I read on here, and the fact that it's a super rare, expensive record, there must be a reason, it must be good. Not necessarily, but hoping. So anyway, 
So here it says they present drummer Matt, Matty Oiling's special wizardry, wizardry on Happy Jazz Band from 1970, backed by an innovative all innovative all finish combo featuring Reed's guitar and African finger piano. Happy Jazz Band mixes backbeat funk with groovy jazz improvisation and more. So when I read that, I was done. I was getting it, and this is they had these 50% off. So this was. I think six dollars and fifty cents sealed for this reissue, so I couldn't really go wrong. And the music is really good. Definitely recommend this. I spun this a few times so far, and definitely has a funky backbeat. There's some different stuff on here. So it's some Finnish jazz, and originally was on Finley. It looks like here. You can see that, and that's what the label looks like. So not a label that I know, but definitely all uh, Finnish Broadcasting Company TV. So that's definitely, if you see that for cheap, this reissue, what music, the two I picked up so far, Open Sky Union and this have been killer stuff for a great price. Been a lot of people showing some mainstream records and I don't have any. I I've passed up on a couple. One that I regret was the Blue Mitchell. I'll find it again. It's not a rare record, but on mainstream. And people have been showing them. I like the look of the mainstream records. And I saw one last week. It was Clark Terry. Didn't really interest me too much. I didn't, I didn't listen to it at the record store. But I found one yesterday that did kind of spark my attention, or spark my interest. And an artist I'd never heard of. I mean, White Guy and the Flute didn't look too interesting. But anyway... It seemed like it could be good because it has uh, Stanley Clark and I listened to it quickly and it sounded interesting enough to get, not too expensive. And it's in good shape. And when I saw this, it looked like it was going to be some good so funky music, some good stuff. This is from I think the early 70s and you have... Uh, so Pete Yellen plays alto sax and flute. You have Dom Um Romaro on percussion. Don't know him. Billy Hart on drums. Stan Clark on bass. It's the reason to pick it up. Kenny Barron on electric piano and Eddie Henderson on trumpet and flugelhorn. So I'm looking forward to listening to this some more um, on mainstream records. If anyone has this or knows anything about it, let me know what you think in the comments below. So as I had mentioned in my last vinyl video, my girlfriend was away in Cuba, she came back with a record for me, kind of more just not necessarily for the music, but just be nice, she was walking around in, uh, in Havana and saw someone selling some records, the guy said this was a good one, it is beat to shit, she didn't pay much for it, but the cover is actually just destroyed, the record's in a bit better shape, it's, it's listenable, but this is El Negro No Tiene Na, Los Van Van, I think is the band. But, so, this is, uh, I mean, some Cuban music. I think it's from like the 80s, 88, yeah. It's like Cuban poppy kind of stuff, but I like it. If you're into Latin music, you probably know this. I think they were pretty popular. The guy told her that was selling the records that it was uh, some good music. He recommended it. So I was pre pretty, uh, pretty happy. It was really nice of her. And... This is, I mean, just you can tell with the, the humidity and the, the weather there, there's just, this one's been beaten and it's seen better days, but I can still enjoy the music. Hold that thought, I'm going to flip the record around, and I'm back. The, uh, we're still listening to the Good God compilation, the first one, Born Again Gospel Funk. A couple more LPs to show, so these are, though that's basically my recent finds and the gift. And something else I put out, pulled out recently, li listened to, which I like, is Black Heat. So this is 72 on Atlantic, and it's just some good, soulful, funky music. There's some tracks that are more uh, slower, softer soul tracks, and then there's some funky ones with some soulful singing. Pretty well known, I'm sure most of you know it. I have two of, this one's a reissue, I also have another one of uh, their albums, a later one. And you can see the pictures here. Looks like some funky brothers. So that was a, a recent spin of mine I had pulled out. 
and a few more, one more record, and two CDs, some hip hop. I don't, can't remember if I showed this, but I picked it up, I think, in the fall, and it's Quasimodo, so Mad Lib, when he raps kind of his alter ego, The Further Adventures of Lord Quas, and I love the artwork on this, it's funny. Um, you have Dilla here, actually, hanging out the window, yelling freak out. This guy, this hippopotamus, has some top ramen on his mind. You can see Mad Lib there. Anyway, this is some fun stuff. If you don't know Quasimodo, definitely worth checking out. I prefer the Unseen, but this is still dope. Dope stuff on Stone's Throw Records. And two CDs quickly. Hip hop, listened to in the car recently. One album that I absolutely love that I remember, it took me a while to get into at first, way back, and once you give it a chance, it's something special and totally unique and different. And I threw it on in the car the other day and it just took me for a ride again. You're just, it's not something, you really have to listen to the whole thing, it's an experience, and it is Latirix, the album. So if you're in like Black Alicious, some West Coast hip hop, but not what you, you know, not like the Dr. Dr. Dre and Snoop type of stuff. And this is from the Black Delicious camp. You have Lyrics Born and uh, Latif, the truth speaker on here, who I believe is uh, Gift of Gab from Black Delicious cousin. And I don't know who did the production on here. Chief XL probably, I would assume, did um, some. Lyrics Born, uh, Chief XL, DJ Shadow, so you have a bunch of different producers on here, but all from that same kind of crew. This is They were called Soul Sides, as well as Quantum. I think they changed their names. Yes, Quantum Projects. I think before they were called Quantum, that kind of whole unit, collective. It was uh, Soul Sides. And uh, this says it's a reissue. I did not buy this when it first came out, but I think it's from 97. So if you're into hip-hop, and you don't know this, you might not know it, it's a bit not as well known as a lot of albums, but this is definitely worth it if you're interested in discovering some kind of alternative, different sounding hip hop. This is where it's at. Very different styles of rapping, uh, innovative, different beats, not like uh, what you've heard before. Not the easiest to listen to, it's not gonna, might not catch you right away. Like I said, it's an experience, you gotta put it on and listen to it. Another album which when it came out I absolutely loved and I was not the only one and I bought this as soon as it came out and there's little brothers are listening. I was listening to this again the other night uh, driving with my girlfriend. Ninth Wonders beats actually very very accessible to everyone. Fun stuff. Uh, they don't take themselves too seriously. Unfortunately they're no longer together and their last couple albums were not great. This album, their second one, Minstrel Show, are classics in my mind. And I mean, so many, so many good songs on here. Just, just rapping about everyday life and not taking themselves too seriously. Like I said, some funny stuff. But I mean, starts off morning, groupy, for you, speed. What every song on here is good. Got to give the whole album a listen and listen to it a few times. So I'm sure most of you know this if you're into hip hop. If you're not, definitely check this out. So yeah, that's it for my recent purchases, recent digs, and a few recent spins. Usually listen to some hip hop CDs in the car. And yeah, like I said yesterday, I had gone to the record store with my buddies, which was fun. And then we went out for lunch and then we went, drove to Ontario. Actually, if any of you from watching from Ontario to Van Cleek Hill to check out a brewery called Bose Microbrewery. And next time I do a video, maybe I'll drink one of the beers. I brought home some beer, but incredible, incredible beer. I think I tried 15 different types of beer and they every month they kind of switch the beers around they don't keep, they have a few standards but they're always experimenting with new recipes they'll have it until they run out and then they make a new one just and each one has incredible incredible graphic design work there they have some in-house graphic designers that are doing unbelievable stuff really fun labels really fun branding so check out the website bose i don't think you'll be able to get it if you don't live in ontario but if you do live in ontario and you enter beer you may already know it but if not, definitely recommend checking that out. So that's it. Uh, not sure what I'll do next. Uh, what was I gonna pick up? I have a few things that I didn't buy at the record store that I wanna pick up. And I might do another CD video, but hope everyone's well. Take care, peace.